going to show you how you can change your part on the upgraded Courtney. So what's great about having a hair topper with a monofilament base is that you can change the part within that monofilament area. So on the Courtney, it's about one to maybe probably about two inches wide and it goes back about four inches. So that means anywhere in here, I can change the part. Right now you can see it's mine is kind of off centered. It's not quite a clear cut straight path, a little bit off center. But suppose I wanted a middle part. How would I do that? Well, for me, I like to set my part while it's on, uh, while I have the hair topper on, because it's easier for me to figure out where exactly center is. So I take my comb, line it up with my nose, and in here is where I will find, is where I can center my hair. Now you see that the hair isn't going exactly where I want it to go because I've already dried it in place to be a side part. So how do I get it to sit the way I want? Well, I take a little bottle of water, spray that area, and I use either a hair dryer or my hot brush. Today I am using my hot brush. I'm gonna show you how I can set it in place to get a middle part. So as you can see, as I'm putting my hot air brush through my hair topper, I'm holding my hair topper in place. I wanna make sure it stays secure. Even though the clips are very secure in my hair, I wanna minimize as much pulling as possible as I'm brushing it through. And that's it. It takes maybe a minute to get my part now more centered. Now you can see there's more of a defined part. You can see a bit of the scalp that it creates for you. Um, and again, if I wanted to put it off center again, well, I'll just take my comb, take it off center, maybe take a bit on this side. And again, staying within that monofilament area. And you see how my hair just wants to flop back over to the other side, because that's where I sprayed it and that's where I set it. So if I want my part off center, spray that area go back with my hot brush and reset it. Don't feel like you need to get one of these hot air brushes to set your part. This works just as well with a hair dryer. And that's that. It's pretty simple. Um, you might see others uh, on YouTube using a wig stand to set their part. It's totally up to you how you want to do it, whether a wig stand or clipping it on your head first and then parting it. Um, either way, Try both ways, see what works best for you. But now that it's dried in place, it's going to stay where I set it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any tips on how you like to style your hair, please leave them in the comments below because I would love to learn more things from others who use hair toppers as well. And um, I hope you like this video. Hope to see you on the next one.